Hi, this is Dave, and uh, today I replaced a blown capacitor on an HP motherboard. And I show you here that it's, uh, it's working after the capacitor there was replaced. It's right there. It's a 6.3 volt, 1800 microfarad capacitor. And I soldered the new one back on. Uh, and it's working. I, I removed the old one. Here's, here's the old one. You can see that the top was leaking material and uh, there it is and that's the what happens sometimes on these um, older motherboards there's the specs on the capacitor you just line the uh, capacitor up the right way according to uh, the negative and positive according to the old one the way that's lined up and you should be fine when you go to attempt the repair. Just make sure the negative is lined up right. Like all the other ones, you can see that they have a, a white patch or a circle, semicircle on the motherboard. And then the other the other part is uh, is like the, the color of the motherboard, the, the tan in this case. And uh, all motherboards are different. So this one happened to be the negative was up. So the, the tan sign was negative and uh, the other side was positive so I just lined it up and soldered the new one back in and cleaned it up and fired up the motherboard and it worked so uh, that's that there's the bio screen and so with little uh, skill you can uh, repair your motherboard and save yourself uh, some money I hooked it up here on my desktop just to bench test it. And this is just a quick glance at my materials that I used for the uh, soldering repair. On the on the blown capacitor, um, which is right here, um, or that's that that was the location of it. That's the new one. Uh, but you just all you need is some high tech uh, rosin core solder, and it's uh, this happens to be the 0 .22, 0 0.022 inches diameter, a uh, thin one, a desoldering braid helps you it's a wick that helps you uh, clean up the the old solder off the motherboard and some flux uh, this can of material here that uh, helps you helps you uh, keep like keep a clean surface while you're working and helps apply the heat to the solder that's already there. Anyway, um, along with these materials, I have a uh, Weller WES51 soldering station with a pen. Uh, it goes up to 850 degrees, and I turned it to 800 uh, when I was working just to get it hot and uh, to work you know quickly with the heating up the solder and removing the capacitor okay so what I'm going to do here is remove this uh, capacitor right here just to show you how I remove it and clean up the holes on the on the board and how to put the new one in I'm just going to do this as an example because I happen to have an, uh, a matching capacitor on this board which was somewhere around here that I already moved for the from the new board. But you can buy yourself one, or you can if you have an existing old board sitting around, you can use it. So all you really need is your uh, soldering iron, your uh, soldering wick, and your rosin core solder. Here's the uh, here's the points right here. You see that? Let's see. 
right there. Those two right there. All I do is add a fresh, fresh little bit of solder. around the points let's get some hot solder on there then as you pull on the capacitor from the other side I apply heat to it going to pull one side to the other. Let's see. If you have to pause for a second, it's okay because it'll allow it to cool down a little bit. You don't want to apply too much heat. But you just want to get it hot enough for a brief second or two on each point to be able to uh, pull it down. You can see it's already starting to come out. Because the fresh solder helps it just melt away. It's starting to come out. Let's go back and forth over the points, and it's out. See, there you have the capacitor, the old one that you need to that probably has a busted cap, busted top rather, and that you need to uh, replace because it's it's not allowing your computer to boot up on the motherboard. So now next uh, we're going to clean the holes right here. Just want to see. So just want to place the wick over the hole and press down on the soldering pan to absorb some of that solder. Okay, so I didn't use flux there, but here's the here's the holes. Right there. Just want to have them cleaned up and if there's there's still solder blocking the hole, that's okay because you're just gonna melt it away as you put in the new cap. Okay, so you're going to flip it over, and just going to clean up the top part, motherboard, with your wick. So basically you have like a Nice uh, clean hole. Our holes right there. There you can see it a little bit. It's hard to see though. Okay, so now you got the holes cleaned up. You can begin getting ready to put the new capacitor in. So on the motherboard, the, the, the negative part is going to be on the white part, on this one. 
on all motherboards they're all different so just make sure you look and check and see which way they're lined up see these capacitors are all lined up with the white matching the white the white stripe on the capacitor matching the white uh, oval part or whatever it is on the motherboard right there so uh, on the capacitor you have the white part it's going to go there it's going to go with that pin and that hole and the the dark part on the uh, on the other side just make sure you match them up accordingly to your motherboard you can easily tell which way is which by looking at the uh, your new motherboard get the capacitor ready by Just trimming off the solder off the uh, off the pins. And then just line it up. As if you're going to stick it in the holes. See, it's getting ready to go in there. And as you apply heat to each side, just press it, press it in. May take a little maneuvering, but this is where you may want to use your flux. Press in on either side as you heat it up and push it in. Just add some fresh solder to the points after you've pushed it all the way in. And then just uh, go around it to make uh, your points. Here I'm just gonna put a little flux on the uh, points to help the soldering. And then apply a little extra solder. As so you've got the capacitor pushed in already. Then just uh, add a little uh, heat and make uh, a little extra salt around the points to clean it up. And just make it look even. If you can, uh, just add a little solder all around the contact point there. And you'll see it'll clean up as you go.
Take your sponge and wipe this off. You can see that you've got a couple couple little points there, but and you still need to be cleaned up, so just do the best you can on the putting salt around those contact points and you should be fine. After you've taken the heat and gone around the, the, the points, uh, just make sure you don't come in, uh, make those points come into contact with the nearby points. See, you've got it touching that one, so you want to remove the solder uh, from there. Just heat it up and get it off of there. along with the sponge or cloth or whatever and and so there you have it You've got the new capacitor soldered in and your your solder points aren't touching okay, so there's the new capacitor that you just put on and you can see the white is lined up with the negative on this motherboard that is See the the white the, the negative on the capacitor is lined up with the negative all the other ones the way they're lined up with the white on the the white area on the motherboard matching the white on the capacitor and that's not going to be the same it might be different like it was in my case on the new motherboard you're fixing uh, the white might be on the clear side on the motherboard so you want to check that make sure you you plug in the capacitor the right way and make sure the soldering points are separated out like right there you see three little points there make sure they're, uh, they're the, the way they're supposed to be from the, like it came from the factory you don't want them touching or anything you don't want any short circuits so check that And that should finish up uh, that part of the repair. Anyway, uh, it's my first uh, successful capacitor repair on the, on the desktop motherboard, so I'm. Um, uh, pretty happy about that. That it went well. The computer works. And here's the where where I finished working. Uh, basically, all I did was go back and forth on these two points here with the heat. And before or as I started, I applied some solder, some fresh solder onto these points. To just help it melt away really quickly and as I went from point to point I rocked the other side the top of the capacitor and pulled on it uh, one direction and the other as you apply heat to one point and then the other and that uh, it quickly comes out within a minute I practiced all I did today was I practiced on a few uh, capacitors on an old motherboard and I got the hang of it and I'm sure you can too if you're any good with soldering um, you should be able to do this. So that's that. Thanks for watching and have a good one.